Hi everyone and welcome to Upstart. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'm Jason, the founder of Upstart, and I'm just gonna take you through a little bit of a demo in terms of how to use the virtual platform here today. So this is gonna be a fairly fast paced video, just running you through the key things um, that you need to know. So these are the things I'm gonna cover. Um, so this is sort of like an index if you like. If you want to um, skip to a specific bit, just forward the video to that part and you can do that. So updating your profile is the very first thing you should definitely be doing when you join the conference. If you haven't done this already, head over to the top right, that's over there, uh, and you'll find under your uh, little avatar, um, there'll be uh, an edit profile button you can drop down and do that. And I would highly recommend um, putting all of your information in there. Definitely use a profile photo. That's really gonna give you a more personal experience through the conference and people to have a personal face behind who they're speaking to. Um, obviously this is a virtual event so there are things that you need to think about a little bit that perhaps um, are different to physical events and that is a, a really big win to upload a personal photo of your face not your cat or your dog but your face so uh, if you also edit the profile you should be putting in your LinkedIn profile and any other details if you are willing to share those that's a really good way for people to connect with you when they're interacting with you through the conference the second uh, part here is about getting help and how to do that. So we'll be around, uh, I'll be around and there'll be a team of awesome volunteers helping uh, today at Upstart. Uh, you'll see them in the chat and you'll see that they have the title volunteer, or I believe it will be uh, called uh, staff or something like that, obvious. Um, you'll be able to find them. However, the best way to get help is to go over to the sessions area and then click on the uh, section here that says support concierge. Um, the sessions area is just over there. Uh, so click that button, you'll see support concierge at the top. If you head into there, we'll have people manning that uh, station basically all day. Um, so if you have any technical issues or just questions about how to get the most from the event, um, you can head over to there and we'll happily help you either via the chat or we'll hop into a video call with you if necessary. Okay, so the next thing, thing is the agenda. So this button over up there somewhere is the uh, agenda. So if you click that button, uh, it's a little home icon, it says agenda on it, uh, and scroll down, that's a key thing you might miss, scroll down the page, and you'll find firstly, what's happening right now will pop up at the top. So if you're ever wondering what's happening right now, that's a really good place to go to click the agenda button, and you'll see uh, exactly what's happening right now. Um, in the, if you scroll down a little bit further down the page, so if you see this, just keep scrolling down and you'll get to this part here, um, which is a little schedule area. Uh, and a pro tip here, uh, on the schedule, if you click the little add to calendar button, which you can see here in the, uh, the icon up there, um, that will then add that to your sort of internal um, conference calendar here on the platform. So you'll get a little notification when your session is coming up. That's quite a good thing to do at the start of the day is to kind of scroll through that list, see what kind of sessions you want to join, and uh, it's a good way to plan the day. How to join sessions is pretty simple. You click the sessions button. So you go over to uh, sessions, which again, you'll see on this side here, or say a little button saying sessions. Click that, that's where all of the content will happen today. The only exceptions is the this area here that you're in now, which is called the lobby. So we're doing an introduction in the lobby and a small workshop on how to get the most out of the event in the morning. And this will actually turn into the after party uh, platform later in the evening after around five o'clock. But during the entire day, um, this um, won't uh, be used, this space, and it will be the sessions area where you'll see all the content. So if you're looking for talks, for um, anything like that, uh, workshops, uh, anything in our agenda, really most of the things in our agenda, they're in the sessions area. So uh, how to join a session, you basically just go to sessions and click the one. Uh, if you don't see the session, it's probably because it's not time for that session yet. So remember um, to go to the agenda, click the schedule, uh, or click the button to add to your calendar and you'll be reminded about that. And when it's time, a little bit ahead, I believe, uh, the session will pop up and you'll be able to just click it and join it. Um, so you can see here with my rather scary looking face in this screenshot um, that I'm giving you an example of what a session will look like. So you'll see speakers in this area. You'll be able to chat and interact in the chat on the right hand side here, which I'll talk about in a moment. You'll see polls um, and you'll um, be able to also, if you want to request to share your screen. So on the session, you'll see a little button will pop up at the bottom of the screen. And if you want to ask a question at the end in the Q and A's, most of the sessions, by the way, have 10 minute Q and A's at the end. So so 
feel free to ask questions along the way. Some speakers will handle them there and then, and some will uh, save them till the end. Um, but it can be a nice idea to actually go on screen. It's also quite good promotion for you too. Bear in mind, quite a lot of interesting people are watching these. So I would recommend doing that. And if the speaker wants to do that or the moderator will, they can put you on, on the stage there. Okay, so matchmaking, this is quite a popular question we've had, and this splits into two sections for most of the attendees and then the extra special attendees that have been selected. And if you're one of those, you will have received an email from us, so you'll know who you are. So first I'll cover the just regular attendees. We have a matchmaking facility, uh, which you'll find again just on the uh, side there. It says matchmaking. Click it, and it's a really fun thing to use. You basically get paired automatically, randomly, with someone else from the conference. Um, it may seem a bit random, and unproductive actually if you try this we have such good quality people here coming to upstart i think you'll be actually impressed with the kind of people you're meeting so um it's set to 10 minutes by default um so you'll get 10 minutes to chat uh, and obviously during that time you can connect um, and share details and um, there is a special session which is in the agenda um, which is our um, speed networking so we'll base it's basically the same thing but we reduce the time down to three minutes so it's a bit more fast paced and you'll find more people will be going into that session as well so that's a really good time if you don't click that for the rest of the day it's a really good time to head over there uh, if you check out the agenda for our speed networking session that's a good one to check out so if you're a startup and you've been you've received an email saying that you're um, allowed to participate in uh, one of uh, three different things, there's three different matchmaking opportunities. We've had uh, two that appear on our early stage and scale up stage. Now those are not in the matchmaking section here. So just to be clear, if you are in the early stage or growth stage uh, investor pitching session where you get one minute to present yourselves to investors and you've been emailed about this, you head to sessions to go and see that area. Uh, and if you're, um, you've been given approval, you'll just be able to access that uh, session. So, uh, however, if you've been given access to the uh, speed uh, networking uh, session for startups and investors, then all you have to do is go to the matchmaking uh, session. You can actually do this anytime during the day, but we recommend you do it during the allocated slot in the agenda. Um, and this basically will pair you with relevant investors that are um, offering capital and vice versa. Investors will be paired with startups that have been pre-approved. So um, it's basically the same area, but you will get a slightly different experience as to uh, compared to a normal attendee who will get basically paired with anyone across the conference. So um, that's basically the matchmaking. This is what it looks like, essentially. So you get like a screen and you click ready and then you're paired with someone as soon as you click the button. So uh, chatting, this is the uh, a very important part of a virtual conference. Obviously, um, in, a, in a virtual conference, you're not able to go up and literally talk to people face to face. Or So this is kind of our, con this is the whole conversation for the conference. You'll see announcements happening in here. And the key thing to mention here is that you will be able to differentiate between where you are right now and the entire conference chat. And that can be a bit confusing at first. So it's worth mentioning that if you go into a session, you're likely going to be chatting in just that session. And you can see here in the screenshot just up there you can see it says session right now at the top tab that means I'm chatting just in that session it might say booth as well if I was in an exhibiting booth um, if you want to go and talk to the entire conference you can then press the conference tab and that will let you chat with anyone across the whole conference so finding people uh, is really easy. You just go over to the people tab in the top uh, right, which you see up there, uh, and you type somebody's name. You can also search for their strap line. So typically that's their company. When people join, normally we put their company's up, names up if they've given it to us. So you'll be able to search for company names here as well. And that's a good way to find people. If you've lost somebody, want to send them a private message, you can do that all through that um, facility. Then video calls, one-to-one -one video calls are extremely powerful. This is a new feature to this platform that has really, uh, well, it's, it's basically a game changer because it means that you can go in and have one-to-one -one breakout sessions with individual people throughout the event. So imagine a Zoom call, if you like, or Google Hangout, similar kind of concept. So um, this is a really good way to send messages to direct people who are of interest. If uh, you want to go and have a more in-depth call, there is no time limit on those sessions. You just basically find the person, you click that person, and then you you click the button that's uh, seen up there saying invite to video call and that will send them a request that person will have to accept the request of course once they do you'll both get a link to a special hidden session that you'll be able to join together so uh, do use that feature it's very powerful um, and will really help sort of build your contacts or whoever it is that you're looking to meet during the day 
So our exhibitors um, are awesome. We've had a really cool uh, batch of exhibitors sign up. I really would recommend you to check that out. So if you head over to that section, it's just over, I believe, that side. I might be getting my directions wrong, but you get the idea. Um, so uh, you can just click exhibitors and you'll see a list of all the virtual exhibiting booths for this year. So go and say hi, do support our exhibitors. Um, there's some really cool companies in there. Say hello, find out what they're up to. Um, often they'll be manned with real people. Um, if they're not and there's like video playing or there's no one there, you can just leave a message in the chat there for them and someone will probably get back to you. And if you're interested in learning more about any of the exhibitors, you can click the button on that page and register interest, which will send your email to that exhibitor uh, and they'll be able to reach you outside of the conference. Sharing on the socials. Okay, this is a very important point. So uh, sharing is caring, um, but also there's a bit of an incentive. So we're going to be giving a prize uh, to the um, the best picture. And this is going to be judged on probably creativity and a bit of fun factor. Um, so here you can see my setup with my desk, a ridiculous amount of uh, Mac products on the table there. Um, so take selfies, uh, take quotes of speakers. If you uh, hear a speaker saying something interesting, quote them. You can take screenshots as well um, from your computer and share those. Um, it's a really fun way to kind of tell people what you're doing. And also it's a bit of a, a selfish uh, incentive for you guys, obviously apart from the, the prize uh, opportunity, um, you will be retweeting and resharing posts that go out. So we have a like, combined audience of something around 20 plus thousand in our socials now. So all very targeted people. So there's a real incentive there. We'll have a team of people resharing content as, uh, as you do that. So do take some fun photos just like you would in a normal event. Okay, that's it from me. Um, uh, so don't forget the after events that are happening after five o'clock. We've got a performance from a Eurovision song contest a performer. Um, we've got a pub quiz. There's loads of fun things happening in the evening as well. So after the event, uh, I'll have a bit more time as well to say hello to people. So I'm going to hang around a bit with the team and uh, anyone that uh, will probably go and be going quite late into the night, I would imagine. So I'll be there to say hello. And uh, as I say, head over to the support area, sessions and support if you need any further help and um, enjoy the event.